<laughs> Check it out on YouTube. Is, I believe, Gabe. Hey. Is that Gabe? Yeah. yeah. I already got this one. <laughs> oh, is this $40 too? Triggered. <laughs> Number one. Another one. Another one. Your boys become clan leader three goddamn times now thanks to Anaheim 2 Anaheim 2K18. So, um, yeah, I'm basically the best player on the face of this earth. Um, I went 5-2 at Anaheim using a tier 2 deck. So, that was fun. Uh, I went 5-2 with it. And I beat some good decks, met some cool people. Um, if you were there at Anaheim yesterday and we talked, uh, give me a shout out in the comments for if I sign something that you had at Anaheim, uh, post a picture of it somewhere and I'll find you. So under the deck profile, uh, running one copy of uh, Peach Orchard Maiden Elmi because um, I don't like Broccolini Musketeer because if you miss Blue Asha, it's a neg one or if the only grade three in your hand is Inez and you see Inez, and you don't have Padmini, you don't get Blue Asha anyways, so I prefer Elmi, and she's so she's better than Kiara, and she's not so integral that if she gets sniped by Overlord or whatever, that it's a bit of an issue, so it's honestly fine for the first time since Asha became a thing, the starter has had the least amount of importance, and that kind of makes me happy, because it means I don't lose to being sniped. Um, grade 3 lineup. We are going four copies of Renaniculus of Phantasmic Blue Asha. Uh, I love her to death. I didn't play Link Joker, unfortunately, so I didn't get to, like, do the returning of face down card to deck despite them. But she came in so helpful by letting me recycle heals and a bunch of stuff. So, she's so good. She was great. I wish she had a rearguard ability, but I'm not even going to complain because I'm happy about it. Um, she's great. I love her. Um, she lets you call cards with Bloom, but not cloning, so it's just better. Um, it doesn't Soul Blast like, um, the other Searing Asha, so it's not stupid. And she countercharges and Soul Charges by herself, so that's lit. Um, I love her. She's, she's good. She was so good. Um, we got three Inezes. In all the games I played yesterday, um, riding... Uh, Blue Asha over Inez was never an issue. Like, I never had to ride Inez. Um, I wasn't grade locked at three, so it's all good. She's great because it got a Link Choker matchup or any control deck, really. Um, because of Inez and some other cards, you can kind of mirage your field like Magia, so you basically don't have to neg anything, and it's really nice just because it means you, um, don't have to deal with control, and you can just turn field resources into hand and keep the pluses going. Uh, grade twos, we got four copies of Collective Blooming Maiden Kara. I love her. She helped a lot in the Gear Chronicle matchup because she has resist. She hits big, beefy numbers. Um, I got her to, like, 45... Because of GB4 for Velhamina, she gets to 45k in a crit base. So I help, it helped me slaughter a bunch of people. It was great. Uh, four copies of Charles, a very, very, very underestimated card. Y yeah, she was horrible when GBT12 came out. But, like, now, thanks to Vel... It's almost like Velhamina, Bushiroad, made her just to, s just to say that Charles wasn't bad anymore because she's a 9k... She gives, her Bloom gives cards 4k and boost, so you have 9, 18, Bloom give this one 4k and boost, so you have 22, the other one blooms this because of Elfamina skill, so you have 26 and a boosted column, and thanks to GB4, that's a 31k2 crit, so forcing 25 guard off of that and being able to potentially get a plus 1 off of it is so good. I love, okay, I don't love her. But I'm very glad Charles is in the deck. She's a very good card. And she... Yeah. just It's so good. Four copies of Lipset. We're not running Noel anymore because Velhamina makes Noel terrible. And all of Noel... Velhamina is basically the stride that you go into whenever you can. 
in all the I played like twelve games yesterday minimum, and in all of those games for when I strode a G unit, I didn't go into Velhamina maybe twice. Like honestly, it might have just been two times, just because Velhamina is a plus two in all of the crits and beatdown she does is so good, but that's Velhamina. What Lipset does is once per turn, bloom 4k to the row, she's in, and if you have a face-up G unit, face-up card in the G zone, that row gets a uh, boost, so um, works for early game, works defensively, like I did a fun rain breath play, I had two in the front row, rain breath call a third, um, double lip set nine, so my Vanguard was at a 19k base against Shushu, which was great. Um, that was a fun time. Uh, she's good. I really like her. Uh, the boost, she's a 9k with boost, and the, the double 4k to her column makes her exactly like, uh, Charl in that she's a 26k off Velhamina, or 41, 31 2 crit off of GB4. So, she's really good. Also, I, the reason why we don't run Noel is Noel's um, bloom ability when it's called is kind of ass because it's 4K to her column, and sure, like, and it doesn't give boost. So if you call a column of Noels, it's gonna be the it's gonna be 17 or 22 with a crit because the one in the back row can't boost. And on top of that, her GB2 is an act ability, so you can't use it with Velhamina either. So you can't even get like the multi-attack even though so it just there's no reason to run noel anymore i don't think because honestly boosting is kind of the best thing for grade twos right now thanks to velamina grade ones tyranny so good she helped i she's so good i um i pg'd like seven times in two games because what pg pg shuffle them back with um the with lizbeth pg goes to drop PG goes to drop, PG bind, add to hand, goes to drop, PG goes to drop, PG bind, add PG, goes to drop, PG bind, add something else. I love her, she's so good, and she's searchable off of Inez because she has a bloom ability, and it's just, I love it. Such a, such a good, such a good card. Uh, four copies of Prosperity Maiden Diane, another amazing card that like came in so, came in handy. Much like um, Kara, she has the resist thing, and she also gets ten k off the bloom. But she can also bounce herself at the end phase if she blooms. So I was able to go from like a hand of seven after drive checks to a hand of uh, twelve because I had Diane's and Inez's on the field after beating the shit out of my opponent with Velhamina plays. So. Great. I love it. Uh, for Stride Fodder, you only run one copy of Renunculus, which is what she searches, and you need to see that, and you need to stride, because it's a G deck. Two copies of Repeated Cultivation Maiden Leslie, who is... F I love her. She's so fun. Um, sh uh, Bloom, once per turn, Soul Charge... And GB1, at the end of the battle that she boosted a unit with Bloom, Soul Blast 2, retire herself, call the card, call a copy of the card that she boosted from deck, and shuffle. So, that activates Bloom in the battle phase. It's multi-attack, so if you're on GB4, that makes, if you're on, if you're on Velhamina and GB4 is active, that means you're going to have a minimum of 5 attacks, where 4 of them are at 5k and a crit, and... A fun card that's Bloom is Inez, who is an 11k, where Valhamina turns her into a 16k, which is numbers that force 10k. So you can actually force a reasonable guard with crits off of her. She's nice, but you don't need her at more than this, because one, all the other cards are better, and two, you she's the Soul Blast 2 kind of hurts, so you never really use it more than twice a game. I use it in all the games I played, I think only I used two uh, two times only once. Four copies of Cosmos Pixie List Beth. I've had Bloom for two years now. It's Lizbeth hasn't been restricted. It's somehow Lizbeth has gotten even better with um the with the zoo booster, so there's no reason to talk about her. Four copies of Anthuria Musketeer Nicola. Uh, it's a heal trigger with a skill for G guards. 
and it shuffles itself back into deck thanks to Blue Asha. So, yay. Also, it's a Musketeer who has the best arts, who have the best art in the game. Um, four copies of Mylis. We've had um, these crits before we had Bloom. Rochelle, my favorite card in the deck. Uh, GB1, rear guard drop zone, becomes a trigger unit. Goes back into the deck with anything that puts trigger units back. On to the G zone, finally, that we hit the 10-minute uh, ad revenue. We got three copies of Flower Princess of Four Seasons Velomina. I've probably talked about her more in the main deck than I'm going to right now, but it's absolutely fine because she's... Phenomenal. GB4, your front row rear guards get 5k and a crit. Uh, I left my a lot of my opponents with 4 damage, which just um fucked them over. So that was really good. And on attack, counter plus 1, search your deck for 2 grade 2 or lowers with the same name and, and the bloom ability. Call them to the um, separate rows. So she makes big, beefy columns. And yeah, she's a great card. She's honestly single-handedly making Neonectar not terrible. Uh, we are, after, um, Anaheim, I changed my deck list, so I've, um, I've changed it back to the, uh, Dream Spinning and Glorious Asha engine, because, again, in all the games that I played yesterday, I never once went into either Lieta or, um, Ver uh, Verano. Like, they're good cards, but there was just no reason, to, uh, I never needed to go into them. So I'd rather go um, into Dream Spinning Asha, so Valhamina uses them as flip fodder, and then if the game's still going on, I can go into Blue Asha, call something, and they'll get 15k, which is honestly better use. And if they keep me at low damage, I have the Dream Spinning engine for at least some Counter Blastless plays, so honestly, I feel like this, um, the Glorious Bloom Dream Spinning engine is just gonna end up being used more. But honestly, everything is just flip fodder for Valhamina. I might as well just run four copies of Zoa to assert privilege. Um, Linju's Premier, honestly, because of how good Valhamina is, you don't really need a whole lot, so there's plenty of room to work with the G-Zone. She's a free card, and she, she has a, a, no cost and GB8. So, it's fine. One and one. Uh, you got uh, Inverna. Um, she's a friendship card for my boy Tristan, because it's SGR. Um, it's also a counter blastless one because, um, I can soul blast. And, um, if you want, you can basically just do the loop. Sure, you won't have the number, but you'll have the hand size, and you can basically force numbers that way, so it's fine. Um, not amazing, but you don't, it, it's a GR, it's a card that doesn't require another copy of anything, because it doesn't flip itself, so it run in at one. Last, uh, then, we got the one copy of Zoa. I actually used this yesterday, which I think is hysterical. I went into Zoa twice, and won with its on-hit victory skill, so... That was great, and one of them was in tournament, and the other was on camera, so one of them was for my own, like, validation, and the other, you'll all get to see, so, yeah, that's fun. Uh, yeah, then, Seabreeze. Uh, G-Guards, we have one copy of, uh, Verna, it's a card from a friend of mine, he gave it to me for free, and it's an SP, so I'm running it, and, it, like, it's not amazing, but it's, it, its skill is free shield bonuses, depending on your field setup, and I don't know what else I'm, I would run if I didn't run this, honestly. Um, Costa Rina, G Flip, G Guard, helps you, um, accelerate to GB4, if you need to, if, if you need to Sea Breeze, or if you have two heals, you can go into Rain Breath, you can go into a G guard and then Coast Arena and get instant GB4 if you stride second. So that's a fun play. Rain Breath, best G guard in Neo Nectar. It's free, gets power, mitigates cloning. Love it. Two copies of Anora, which honestly was the MVP yesterday, because it's on guard, so less one five shield. And if you have four or more or one or less rear guards, 
it gets an additional 15 shield, so it becomes a 35k shield by itself, so 46 base. So, it's a big shieldy boy. So, it came out, it was so, it was definitely the MVP, but I wouldn't run it at more than two, just because soul is a thing this deck uses. Uh, that's it for the deck. Clan leader three times over. Um, I am the best ever. This G is over. Maybe we'll build this for premium. Maybe we'll build Neon Hunter premium. We'll see what we get uh, in the next wave of support. Whenever Neon Hunter gets uh, its uh, V support. Um, standard is gonna is good. If you think G is be if you think G is worse than standard because of purely because of power creep or whatever, you're wrong. St and if you think standard is better than G just because it's the it helps you with your nostalgia boner, you're even more wrong. Standard's good and G is good for different reasons. I'm playing standard mostly because it lets me save money. But yeah, uh, that's it for Asha probably. That's it for Asha deck profiles for the next, honestly, probably year, which is weird to think about. Here's this deck box that I got. Boop. Uh, yeah. Uh, till next time. I'm the G-Man. I'm your clan leader. And I'm signing out. Peace.